Hi, and welcome to this overview of SAP Business One cockpit view. What we're looking at here is version 9.1, SAP version for HANA. This is a probably a six minute presentation, just aimed at giving you a bit of a look and feel for what's possible with your KPIs, your dashboards, your workflow workbench type processes inside this new cockpit view of the SAP Business One version for HANA. I've chosen to see certain dashboards and widgets in this particular view, and I've not yet reorganized them exactly as I want them. That's because as part of this presentation, I'm gonna show you how to make some changes to this particular dashboard view. But I can see here my top five customers by sales amount, my revenue versus gross profit for the last six months, my top five customers by receivables, my receivables overdue, my various widgets, total sales amount, my purchase processing workflow type workbench. So the typical information that I've chosen to see. Typical SAP Business One functionality, I'm on this particular widget of my sales orders not delivered, drill down, and I can see a list of the sales orders in question. Click on the arrow, drill down to the actual sales order. So great functionality, start at a high level of information from the widget on the cockpit view, drill down to the information you want. My recent updates, I can see I've received it today an incoming payment, drill down directly to that incoming payment. I can see here, for example, my total sales amount. So $133,000 invoice to date, against the target of $650,000 on a month over month basis. I can see my workbench, my purchasing process. So we do a purchase request to a purchase order. Click on the icon, go straight into create a purchase order. No need to go through the menu structures, straight in from this view into that purchase order. Click on the little blue, blue uh, button, get access to a bunch of information that's associated with this particular workflow. Open items list, document drafts report, last prices report, inventory status, inventory and warehouse report. Let's drill down to an open items list. There it is. Quick, easy access to the information I want when I want it. And of course, I've chosen to see these widgets, these KPIs, these dashboards on this particular screen in this format. Top five sellers by sales amounts. So now let's have a look at a couple of things I can do. My top five customers by sales amount. Let's just go in. I can obviously um, change the nature of this graph. I don't want it in pie chart. I want something else. But before I even do that, let's just enlarge that particular um, view, which is what we've done there. Let's now go in and we'll go into our pervasive analytics. And now what we'll see behind the scenes is we can see a number of standard KPIs and dashboards. So typical KPIs, receivables overdue, payables overdue, total sales amount, sales return amount, stock value, inbound, outbound stock, stock turnover, revenue by dates, etc. I can obviously create my own KPIs and dashboards and embed those. Typical dashboards which are there as standard, revenue versus gross profit for the last six months. Five Top five item groups by stock value, for example top five best sellers, top five customers by sales amount, etc. I can draw down into these particular um, dashboards and now I can see the dashboard that was in pie chart. And if you remember earlier, I didn't want it in pie chart. I said, let's maybe change that or we'll change it to a column chart. I can of course make other changes to it as well. Okay, I'm happy with that view. So let's save that particular view. Just made a very basic change in terms of the nature of the actual graph itself. And let's go back in to our original view. Let's save it. Now we remember that this top five customers by sales amount was a pie chart. Let's refresh it. And we can see now that the change we've made it's now in a column chart, which is what we wanted. We can also see that we've enlarged this particular widget here. We've made a few changes on this initial screen. Of course, I can also go in. There are a number of other. Let's just click on the plus button now. And what I can see now is that there are a number of other dashboards, widgets and elements, which I haven't yet um, activated. So let's say, for example, that I also want to see um, the Let's just take the aging of uh, payables overdue. Let's just click on that one. We'll click on the plus button. Let's go back in. And now what I'll see 
inside the initial um, view is that let's save it is that now what I can see is that that dashboard which I've just enabled aging of payables overdue is now inside the dashboard or cockpit view so a brief presentation but what we're showing is that we get this great view of widgets uh, dashboards, KPIs, work processes inside the SAP Business One cockpit, and we can quickly and easily make changes to it. There are a number of other functions and features available here, like an enterprise search, for example, um, more in-depth um, analysis of various elements. I can also do things in HANA like look at, for example, cash flow forecasting and delivery schedules and available to promise checks. I can also use, if I just enable that menu structure, interactive analysis, for example. So a number of other functions and features available to me, but the point of this presentation is not to show those. What we're interested in this presentation was just a brief overview of that cockpit KPI dashboard view uh, inside SAP Business One for HANA. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there's lots of other blogs, information, presentations available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.